Hey, welcome back to Stuff You Should Know. My name is Randy Clark, and we are going about this renovation the Dave Ramsey way. Here's a quick clip from George Camel on budgeting. All right, let's get to it. Habit number one is budgeting. No surprise coming from me, but I seriously can't stress enough how big of a deal this is. When you learn how to make a budget and actually do it every month, you're giving your money purpose. You're taking control. You're giving every dollar a job. And giving every dollar a job is exactly what we're doing on this huge home reno. Today's episode is on using available materials that we've gathered from demoing all the other things to use in our new renovation. All right, so during the process of the renovation, we had to move our yard for the dogs. And by doing so, we had to make it a little bit smaller. So what I did was I took down all the screws and piled up the wood. And I like, to I like to refer to that as available materials. So uh, yeah, it's a little cheap, but it's saving money. And that's what I'm about during this project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, measure between the posts that have been set for the new small dog, dog yard, and then uh, go pick up the wood that I've got stored underneath the covering and bring it back uh, using the tractor. And I uh, tell you what, um, the tractor is amazing and I don't think I would be able to do half the tougher jobs uh, if I didn't have something like that to use. So it's a lot easier to use. So I'm just grabbing a quick measurement between the posts to make sure that the wood that I'm bringing back is long enough. I'm going to grab the forklift for the tractor. Little known fact is that the forklift is one of the top three tools purchased with a tractor. Bet you didn't know that. So along with the forklift, I'm headed over to grab the wood over at my son-in-law's house and we keep it under one of the covers over there on his property. All right now, so the key here is to find everything that is longer than, well, we'll find our longest boards first uh, and then we'll find what's appropriate for the rest. So I figure if we get a bunch of 16 footers, which would be a huge blessing, and then stack on maybe a bunch of huge 10 or eight just take them over a whole pile, so that'll be pretty easy, so that's what I'm going for. Yeah, I know, but not every day is this beautiful. This weekend happened to be particularly beautiful with the puffy clouds and the blue skies. It was really great. You know, I'm actually pretty proud of myself on this one. I think so far on just this job, we've saved about $2,000. Not only just in the available materials, but also in the labor. So I'm bringing the wood in, and yes, I'm actually gonna have a contractor build the fence for me. Okay, so in short, always make sure you have the opportunity to reuse available materials, just whatever it is. Pipe, wood, whatever. That way you don't have to keep spending a bunch of money. Keep some money in your pocket for those things you really want, like beautiful sinks and countertops, etc. So, So in closing for this video, I do want to recognize the fact that we are and we do live a blessed life. And we trust God for everything we have, even the leftover available materials we have to use to get things accomplished. Have a great day.